Hey, Junior Power Kids, it's Miss Dana. Welcome to the clubhouse. I am so excited to have you here today. And you get to hear a story from my very favorite book called the Bible. That's right, and whose book is the Bible? It's God's book. You guys are so smart. And how many books are in the Bible? Yell it really, really loud. That's right, 66, and it's broken into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Today's story is from the New Testament. And guys, this is super exciting because God gave us this book so we can know him and we know it's totally true. So our story today is a part of our theme for July that we are calling Ready, Set, Move. And we're talking about how Jesus wants to be our friend forever. So our story today is about two guys named Paul and Silas. What were their names? Paul and Silas. Very good. So Paul and Silas were friends of Jesus. So this story took place after Jesus was already here on earth, died on the cross, came back to life, and went up to heaven where he is right now. So Paul and Silas did what Jesus told them to do, and they were telling everyone all about Jesus. Well, one day, some people got mad at them, and they got thrown into jail. Everybody said, oh no! That's right, they were in jail. In fact, they were in jail and their feet were chained. So they were chained up and they were in jail. But guess what Paul and Silas did? Good guess. Paul and Silas were singing songs and praising Jesus even in jail. Can everybody say, that's amazing! That's right, because Paul and Silas chose joy. So joy is one of those words we use a lot, but it's kind of tricky to understand. So joy is like being okay no matter what, choosing to be okay no matter what. And we get joy from Jesus because we know that Jesus loves us and is always there no matter what. So Paul and Silas were full of joy because they trusted Jesus even in jail. That would be really hard, right? Even when you trust Jesus, being joyful in jail would be really hard. So Silas and Paul were in jail. That night, when Paul and Silas were in jail, they were still singing when something amazing happened. An earthquake happened. Do you know what an earthquake is? An earthquake can be pretty scary, actually. It's when the ground actually shakes. So everybody pretend the ground is shaking. An earthquake came, an earthquake came, and the chains flew off Paul and Silas, and the jail cell doors flung wide open, and probably a lot of the other prisoners ran away. Paul and Silas didn't. Can everybody say, what? Again, that's right. Paul and Silas had a chance to escape because an earthquake shook the ground and opened the jail doors, but they didn't leave, they stayed. You see, they knew that the guard at the jail that was in charge of watching them would be in really big trouble if Paul and Silas left. So they stayed. And you know what happened? The guard was so excited that they stayed that they got to tell him all about Jesus. And then the guard had joy too. He believed in Jesus because of Paul and Silas and how they stayed even when they could leave. And guess what happened then? The guard cleaned them up and took them to his house. And then the guard's whole family got to hear about Jesus and they believed in Jesus and wanted to be Jesus's friends too. Isn't that amazing? So guys, I don't want you to ever just know a bunch of stories from the Bible. I want you to know why you need to know it. And this story tells a lot of really good lessons. So what the lesson is that we're gonna focus on today, guys, is that we can be okay no matter what. We can have joy no matter what because we know that Jesus loves us no matter what. We can go here, there, and everywhere and tell people that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. See you next time.